Meghan feels the impact of Charles S. Blow. With new titles for his daughter-in-law, the monarch stuns everyone. Other people's duchess and analyst believes the shocking names are a part of a daring new plan. King Charles is rumoured to have given his son and daughter-in-law new titles. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have received title changes as part of the king's radical new attempt to rearrange the family. Their most recent titles will place them in a new tab apart from current members of the firm, but the two will continue to use their Sussex titles, they will be SE seated with others like Prince William and Princess Anne. The title change, which would see the pair market as others, was recently disclosed by royal analyst Daniela Elsa. It said that, only four months into his reign, King Charles was looking for a significant departure from the late Queen Elizabeth II's policies. Expert Elsa at Ephraim reports that many adjustments and a reset were promptly implemented. Firm Castle According to a News.com story, Charles is rearranging certain members of the backroom staff in an effort to create a more efficient monarchy. Australia's other claim is that the Sussexes have earned the reputation of the others in a major royal shuffle, and it sounds as though they will never again be allowed to use the palace's nice rooms, furnishings, or reservations. The Daily MSF reserves as the source for this specific moral. No hard castle column exists in reality. For months after Charles's coronation and first attempt at standing tall while holding a scepter, his majesty has been hard at work and has completely rewritten his late mother's vision of the family business. It's made up by line, but Hard Castle claims that it's usually regarded as well-sourced. The royal family is currently being divided into four groups. Senior royals, working royals, and other four groups the Sussex Jew will fall into the other group, according to Hard Castle, along with non-working royals and others. Elsa asserted that the king's brother must sting from the preferential treatment given to the Jew, which Hard Castle said was harsher than that of Prince Andrew. Regarding his reputedly leprous younger brother, Charles has obviously loosened his position and attitude. The others are overseas due to smoke signals emanating from the palace indicating that Andrew has successfully re-entered the inner circle. A solid beginning. Let's go back to when they vanished from the royal website. Prince Harry is the target of King Charles' tactful but stern criticism. King Charles's attitude towards Harry seems to be his business as usual, according to royal biographer Duncan Lamb, who clarifies the king's position. You must schedule an appointment if you would want to see me. To speak with his father, Harry will need to go past the grey suits and through the red tape. Though it comes out as quite aloof, I believe that the monarch is gently punishing his son in this way. This implies that Harry's memoir's portrayal of King Charles's wife, Queen Camilla, has King Charles extremely appalled. Notwithstanding this, King Charles appears to be maintaining lines of contact and expressing a readiness to settle the dispute, albeit on his terms, rather than slamming the door to reconciliation. The monarch is reportedly unhappy that both sexes enter famous circles while maintaining their royal rank, according to reports based on his early years and personal upbringing in the family. He stated that the primary focus between King Charles and Prince William is that it is impossible to defy the late Queen's adamant conviction that one cannot be a part-time royal, one cannot mingle with celebrities in America for six months and then return to this country and selectively attend events, it is simply not feasible. Elizabeth detests the concept, thus I doubt Charles and William will consent to that.